Did you know that history records reflect that the male underwear was invented and worn as far back as 7000 BC? The design was a simple loincloth made of leather and resembled a diaper. The loincloths were worn by Egyptians and Aztecs alike. Undergarments have gone through various changes throughout the years and it was only in 1874 that it took on a form that we're more familiar with. In many historical paintings, we see a muscular naked depiction of Adam. Most of these paintings would later incorporate fig leaves to obscure the genitals of the once nude figures. Effective and iconic, the fig leaf represented the primary purpose to cover the genitals. During the 13th century, loose-fitting pull-up underwear was invented. These calf-length drawers were made from linen and was worn by peasants, knights and kings alike. During the Renaissance, these garments underwent another change. They became shorter and incorporated a flap in the front for urinating through. But it was only during the Industrial Age, which lasted from the 1800s to the 1900s, that undergarment manufacturers and designers started to prioritize comfort. The union suit was invented in 1868 and started out as a woman's undergarment, but because of popularity it also became a male undergarment. The union suit was a buttoned one-piece undergarment with sleeves and pants. The union suit raised in popularity because of the flap over the buttocks which made going to the toilet so much easier. The buttocks flap earned a slew of vulgar nicknames such as access hatch, drop seat and fireman's flap. Over the years, the piece shortened to only the bottom half and became known as Long John's as it is called today. After the invention of the bicycle, the first jock strap was invented in 1874 and would pave the way for underwear design. The jock strap was originally intended to provide protection for cycle jockeys. At the time, cities and towns were paved with unevil cobblestone and the jockstrap even had a pouch for the wearer to insert an impact resistant cup for even more protection. How's it work? Not bad. Pretty good. Looks good. Do you have any butts? Any nuts butts? Yeah. Looking good. Alright. <laughs> hey, you do something harder I think. The first briefs were invented in 1935. They were high-waisted and featured the iconic Y front. Over the years, this style of underwear became known as tidy white. Loose-fitting boxer shorts entered the market later that decade as an alternative for the tight-fitting tidy white tees. For years, men were restricted to choosing between boxers and briefs, and it would take another five decades before the invention of the boxer shorts, which was a perfect compromise, having the best of boxers and briefs. But believe it or not, the perception of tidy whities changed in 1980. Boxes were considered to be for grown men and tidy whities were considered to be very childish. And that is all because of one little scene in a movie called Risky Business. So which one do you prefer, boxes or briefs? I don't like boxers because it feels like I got nothing on, so boxer briefs are like the happy medium. I agree. Are we allowed to see? Sure. Shall I do what everyone else does? <laughs> sure. <laughs> do it. Do whatever you want. Go and climb. Whoa. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe so you can stay up to date as soon as I post new videos. Also, check out some of the links at the end of this video.